This is Katherine with Vive Katherine. I'm here in North Arlington, New Jersey for the George Miller Art Show. We're here to raise funds and help students get involved with art in public schools. Today we're going to be speaking with teachers and artists as well as some of the keynote speakers this evening. So stay tuned and let's go check out some of those exhibits. I'm here with Daniel Mark, the creator of the George Miller Art Show tonight. Congratulations. Thank you very much. What an amazing event. Thank you. I appreciate that. The turnout was incredible. All the children and their families were so happy being here. And you could just see how excited the kids were to show off their pieces. And that's basically what this is all about. To see the turnout is the greatest thing. To have so many children and parents involved at a cultural event like this is what the message is all about. I'm here with Debbie Duhame from Total Traffic. How are you, Debbie? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great here at the George Miller Art Show. So exciting. Yes, I was very honored to be able to be the host, and um, I felt um, just like you can give back to the community so much by being involved with seeing children being able to produce these beautiful pieces of art and help them to flourish as they grow into adulthood and be able to create you know the things that they love. We saw some amazing and beautiful pictures tonight. Beautiful artwork this evening. Tell us more about it. Well just what, looking at the pieces of art I was in awe. I felt like I was at one of these museums in New York City. I'm like oh I'm in North Arlington at the George Miller Art Show and it was very uh, inspirational and I was so happy to see such a full crowd and to see so many beautiful faces in the audience of the young children here following their dreams of being artists. I'm here with Jerry Galvin. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So congratulations, you were just nominated for the Congressional Art Competition. Yep. Tell us more. Uh, well, I get a chance to uh, have my picture in the art show for like the Capitol building and um, I have a chance to win and it, if I win they keep it there for a whole year. So how does that make you feel? It's really exciting to know that my picture could be in the, the Capitol building. <laughs> Tell us more about that picture. Well, I, I used uh, the actor William Defoe, and um, I thought he would be a good actor because of the Super Bowl commercial. And I, I saw him play like the devil trying to sign off this guy and just get his soul. And um, I thought it was really cool. I took a picture online, and I saw a picture of him in... Uh, um, like he was posing, like they did pictures of him posing, and I took that picture and I wanted to do the Joker because I love the Joker and I love Batman and Batman's awesome, best superhero ever. I did that and I used pastels because I had just gotten familiar with it from the previous year. When I did, when I was doing the picture, I was thinking of um, mainly like the Batman movie and how more towards the makeup of Heath Ledger, but kind of like put on William Dafoe. And I know that William Defoe would be able to play a great dark role. I'm here with Dr. Tina Snyder. How are you tonight? Very nice to be here. It's been an incredible evening, so inspirational, so energized uh, to be here. So tell us about some of your inspiration with art and your connection with the George Miller. Well, they asked me to be here this year to talk about the benefits of art um, in terms of the generating of self-esteem and confidence and poise um, in children and in adolescents. And, and that's something that is very important to me and, and very something that I'm very passionate about. So what we know um, from research and from longitudinal studies is that uh, self-esteem is generated with art in a very unique way and in that kids can generate um, feelings of pride and, and poise and not only is it just an emotional reaction we actually see standardized test scores improving with uh, children who have exposure to art as opposed to kids who don't have formal art training so there, there's real cognitive benefits to, of art also. I'm here with Anastasia Rem how are you? I'm good how are you? I am doing great. Congratulations. Thank Third you. place tonight. Nice. I'm very happy. What inspired your artwork? Um, I feel that my inner passion for certain things, whether it's music or art itself, 
I'm able to express that. So I try to find it in different ways to express it, but not to make it, to make it seem familiar to people. How long have you been painting for? Um, probably ever since I was a little girl, probably 11, from like the basic stuff to now. But ever since I've been um, having my classes with Jujak and Miss Branco, it's been, I've really explored my possibilities. I'm here with Kiana Ortega, second place winner tonight. How are you? I'm very good, thank you for asking. So tell us what inspired your artwork. Well, I've been with Dujak for a while and she's taught me to like make so many like different types of like paintings and like drawings. So she kind of ex inspires me to the stuff I do. She's very, she's, I'm so grateful I had her as a teacher. Well, tell us how long you've been painting for. Um, I started my freshman year. I had Ms. Branco. And then, as the years, Ms. Dujak showed me, of course. So you're a senior? Yes, I am. So you're already looking at colleges, you know. Tell us a little bit about that experience so far. Well, um, I actually got accepted to the Arts Institute of New York. So I'll be going there, uh, actually, this week to take my placement test. So I'm very excited. Very proud. That. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm here with Amy Lynn, who just won first place. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> what are you feeling? Obviously she's very excited. I, uh, it's indescribable. I, I still don't know why I'm feeling. It's just like numbness. I'm shocked. I'm elated. It's just crazy. Tell us what inspires your artwork. Um, for most of it, like, it's a, I'll get an idea or I'll see something like really cool. Or sometimes like with my flower that I did, it was inspired by my grandma who passed away when I was a uh, freshman. I'm sorry. It's okay. And <laughs> she uh, used to love roses. She loved roses a lot. And when I saw the obituary, I was like, no, it reminds me a lot of her. And it's just to like not only her, but everyone else who, pa everyone else, else who passed away. So it's just like my silent commemoration to her and everyone else. So like they're not forgotten, like they'll always be remembered. How important is art in our public schools today? Uh, it's really important because all, like every day now, you see more and more of like the media coming on. There's a lot more like graphics coming on. And it's just important to go back to your roots, be like, no, you start off with pen and like a pencil or paper, and that's where it all began in the first place. So it's nice to remember like what you had in the first place, and not how it is in the 21st century. Out of the gallery tonight that we saw, what was your favorite piece? I really like um, one of my classmates, Natalie Ribeiro. She had this really awesome watercolor painting of like that face. It was like all those intense colors, and like you, even with all those colors going on, you saw the eyes of the painting, and it was just like really intense. Like, you could really look into it and be like, wow, she put a lot of heart and dedication to it. It was just awesome. I'm here with Pat Addis, Broadway producer. How are you this evening? I am great. Wasn't this one of the most inspirational evenings? That art that those kids have done, it's just so fabulous. I want to clone this library. I want to clone the kids. I want to clone the art. It was, it was amazing. And so few schools are doing anything like this. We did see specifically a piece on bullying. Let's talk about that section for a minute. I, I thought it was very worthwhile that they put that in, even though it wasn't the best art of the evening. Um, it certainly was a very important thing that they're bringing light to this subject and the art teacher was telling me what they do about bullying and they have mediation with all the kids and I think that's a very good idea. I'm going to speak to Dan more about it because I'm into the bullying thing. I guess you all know that I'm a producer on A Christmas Story, the musical, which we're hoping going to win some Tonys this year, keeping my fingers and toes crossed. And um, we have bullying in that show, and it's inspired me to do a bullying campaign. And thanks to Mad Creek Canyon and Janine, um, we're getting it together, and she put on a terrific thing with posters and flyers to start an anti-bullying campaign for us where we had a contest and had these kids write some of the saddest stories. They're just horrible. So anyway, we hope that we'll get it off the ground and that schools are starting to acknowledge that it is a big problem and doing something about it. I'm here with Andy Jennings, President and CEO of Mad Creek Advertising. How are you tonight? Good. How are you? Thank you for coming to our show. Tell us a little bit about the sponsors that we have here tonight. Oh, this our sponsors came out like wildfire this year. FOCO 100% uh, 
Pure Coconut Water is our one of our clients that is emerging out on the market. They were a great sponsor. We have V's Barber Shop and Shoeshine. They're located in Hoboken, New Jersey. However, the owner is an alumni of North Arlington High School. Barrington Press, located in Paramus. They um, donated all of the printed materials you see here, along with John Da Printing, who's uh, Paul Prada, another alumni. Um, Hammett Bags in Los Angeles. They are a Southern, Calif Southern California bag company um, that knows about us, and they were willing to tweet and Facebook about us and donate a bag for our cause. Um, Pat Addis Enterprises, of course, a famous Broadway producer who is also one of our speakers, she donated. Um, and then again, Cobra Construction, Nicholas Bergagni, a proprietor. Uh, it's a company in North Arlington, and he's also a North Arlington High School alumni. Tell us about how you feel about the George Miller program. The George Miller Art Show is an absolute labor of love for me because of what George Miller has done for myself, my co-founder Daniel Mark, um, and a lot of other people that went through his program. He was just somebody who always give back, gave back. He always found the toughest kids and brought the best out in them, and that's how I feel that what art can do for, for kids. Give them an opportunity that they may not ever think they even have.